Priya, how are you? I'm fine. You? Hi, good. Is it Priya? Priya, you Okay, did I, did I say it all right? Yes. Priya. Okay. Um, did, did, did you have trouble getting here? No. A lot of traffic? A lot of traffic. It's Houston. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's always, always a rush. Okay. Well, um, before we start, um, well, I, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about what we're going to do today. So today is the first session, so it's called the intake session. And I see that you, you filled out a paper with a few questions, so I'm just going to go over that with you. Um, go over um, some uh, troubling sections that you mentioned here, and then at the end, hopefully wrap it up with something that can be helpful for the next upcoming session. Okay? So um, before we start that, I have to go over some qualifications, client tries confidentiality information. Of course, you already signed this, but um, I wanted to go over them in detail with you verbally. Okay, so I'm a graduate student working towards the completion of a master's degree, um, and I am I am in a in a counseling techniques class. So you you might have noticed that we're being filmed. Um, so this is part of a course, and um, this is only going to be shown to my professor and my and my classmates. And at the end of the session. It's going to be destroyed, okay, so it's, you don't have to worry about it is coming up anywhere else on YouTube or anything like that. This is confidential. Okay, and then you should know that there are some, um, there are some limitations to my um, counseling, um, and I cannot guarantee that there are, that there are going to be any specific results um, from, from, you know, from the sessions. Um, but together, we'll work together. Um, to achieve the best results for you. Okay, so um, I'm going to go over your, your applying traits. So it is your right at any time um, as you sign this. Um, at any time to to inquire, to ask about the procedures, the processes that are being used during our relationship. Okay, and uh, you, if you ever are not okay with anything, you can tell me. You can refuse. That's totally your right. Um, if you have any problems, you can contact uh, my me and my professor, Dr. Leggett, and the emails provided to you here. Okay. Once you have, uh, once we begin counseling sessions and we get the hang of everything, um, there's no obligation to continue. If you feel like, okay, you know, Jocelyn, I don't, I don't feel like this is working anymore, you can feel free to tell me and we can continue. Or if you want to transfer, we can also do that at any time. Um, my, my services are rendered in a professional manner and consistent with ethical standards with the American Counseling Association. Um, if you have any complaints, again, you can always reach my supervisor or me and it will take care of everything, okay? And the confidentiality, the confidentiality portion, um, have you heard about that before? Yes. Okay, so just to um, recap, um, if I determine that, um, that there's a finger to yourself or, other, uh, or others, I am required um, to disclose, um, and then if uh, you report a child or 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 an elderly abuse, that also can be reported or disclosed. If uh, the law requires me to you know to disclose, if you go to court or anything, that also counts. If you disclose any sexual conduct with a mental health care provider, um, uh, with whom you have had a professional the uh, uh, re relationship with, um, and also if any information is requested by your insurance, um, and, or if I'm directed you um, to uh, by you by writing, if you tell me, hey, Jocelyn, you know I needed to disclose by writing, I can also I'll give you that information. If if you want to disclose that to you, somebody else, you can let me know. And lastly, um, if you would either to um, file the suit against me, okay? And you sign that, and you will get a copy of this, so so you can keep it for for your records, okay? Okay, so to start, uh, tell me, uh, what, what, what brings you here? Well, job, my job situation. Um, so many things going on at the job. So, um, I'm concerned about losing my job. So, um, you know, people talking behind you, a supervisor law in with you. So I'm really I'm concerned about my job. You're, you're concerned about the problems that are going on in your job? Yes. Because um, 
the people I work with, my co-workers, they are not, you know, they go behind you, they do things behind you, and, and sometimes this, my supervisor work with them, mm -hmm. and um, so it concerns me, that, that really concerns me. Right. The relationships between you know, your co-workers and your supervisor and you, is what's causing you a little bit of trouble. I hear you. And um, I see that you, you reported to have never been to a uh, psychiatrist before. So what are your expectations for this session? Well, I just want you know, to talk to somebody mm -hmm. and um, to go through what I'm, you know, to be able to go through what I'm going through and work to help me um, process, you know, kind of a process thinking. Mm -hmm. Because it concerns me that I might lose my job, and um, things happening. Like the other day, um, I went to my supervisor. I told him about what my subordinate did. Instead of coming back to me, he didn't come back to me. He went to my subordinate to, you know, um, talk to my subordinate about it. Which my subordinate came back later and said, um, "You're gonna lose your job." You know, if you keep at it. So I'm concerned about that. And you're concerned. Yes, I am. I don't want to lose my job. You're concerned that you're that, that you're going to lose your job. I see, and uh, I see that. Uh, but I see that you mentioned that you have counseling. Um, I'm sorry that, that you have ways to handle your stress, and you mentioned here that you have prayer. Yes, I pray a lot because that's where I get you know comfort when um, when I'm disturbed by anything, any situation. Um, I pray. I just go to my room, close the door, and I pray. I find comfort there, and I get answers a lot of the times. When I finish, maybe the next day when I go back to work, I have a better way of handling it. So um, that's is that's my solace right there. I go there and just get it energized and then go back. Yeah, that's my that's my only comfort. Prayer is your only comfort. Yes, and it's your way to cope with all the stresses that are going on after you're done with that. Yes. You feel energized? Yes. So you just want to yes. feel energized and you feel like it helps you. It helps you. Mm -hmm. It works for you. It works for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to make a note of uh, the most important things that you um, signaled to the in the sheet here. Um, so you have any sleeping problems? Yes. We're well, students, you know, being a student, being a wife, being a mother. So there's hardly time, enough time for me to get some, you know, enough rest. So, so I don't have enough time. Sometimes I stay up till 3 in the morning mm -hmm. because I'm studying. I have an assignment due every week. Mm -hmm. So I don't have enough time to, you know, to sleep. And do I want to pass it, you know, my class or, you know, sleep? There's a lot of things on your schedule that um, cause you not to have the sleep that you want. Yes. And it's either sleep or, or school. Yes. And it's... And I pay for this, I don't pay for it, so I have to, you know, make sure I pass the class. So I have to stay up. So I have to sleep. You pray for it too. And, and you know when when I put myself together and that's how I relieve stress because if I'm not rested I get stressed and I get easily irritated mm -hmm. so and when that happened I try to get you know get a hold of myself and say oh okay let me go back and you know pray and I pray it works, pray it works, it works for me.
prayer is a system that works for him. Yes. And I mean, that doesn't mean the stress is not there because it's continuous. The semester has not ended, so after the semester is over with, then I can take a break, then it will start all over. But prayer works for me. It doesn't mean that it's the cure for your stress, but it's a way to deal with it. Yes. that you are using your coping mechanism of prayer for your sleeping problems. It also says in here that you have um, uh, that, you're, that you have low tolerance and temper. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not resting. Because you're not resting. And I think I kind of know where it's coming from. You know, sometimes in the, you know, over the weekend or you know, on Saturday, I'll you know, try to sneak in and get maybe two more hours of sleep. And, uh, and sometimes I feel guilty because I have something to do. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, you know, being a wife and mother, and I have to now I'm cleaning up, I'm doing other things too, so. Mm -hmm. It is normal for um, one to feel stressed when the one has a lot of things to balance. A lot. A lot of things. Being a mother. In school. Mm -hmm. Wife. A wife. Mm -hmm. Working. Working. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's it's normal for one to be stressed when one is trying to juggle a lot of things at once. Mm Been using prayer as a um, coping mechanism, and that is a good, good strength of um, that you've used. Um, that's something that you have found uh, a good hang of it. You have, you have been using it, and it seems like since it has, it has, seems like it has the potential to help you to continue to help you towards um, our goals as we speak. Uh, like giving a moment over the second sheet of the of the intake session. Um, because you have been, uh, uh, you have had a loss in the past three six months. Yes. <coughs> yes. Um, my son. I pray. That's when I, you know, when I'm quiet, I go to my room and that's when I pray. 
and I get, you know, answers, I get, you know, energized, I get when I come out and, you know, prepare, you know, to face whatever thing that is there. When you pray, you find strength and you feel ready to come, whatever yes. is coming at you. Yes. And that's your go-to um, thing to do. Yes. When you find strength and... Yes. Okay. Well, um, so we've gone over the, the highest um, scores in the things. Unfortunately, we do not have a time to go over every single item. I feel like we've covered um, what we need to. So, to um, talk about your goals and expectations, you mentioned um, you said you wanted to um, take your letter, right? You said you wanted uh, set self awareness and be able to let go of things that you can't control. Is that that's your goal? Mm -hmm. Okay, so to be able to work um, towards that goal, we more sessions and hopefully based on what we talked about today, we can um, start uh, the more detailed long section, uh, sessions as we go along. Um, we can work on, um, I see that your strengths are prayer and you've indicated that that's, that's your go-to, um, you know, when, when you're alone you pray and uh, when you pray you feel strengthened and that's demonstrated by what you told me in the past. So I think that's a strength uh, that we can use for you in the following sessions and encourage that um, uh, when, you know, as we keep, uh, keep on talking about um, you stress at work and uh, with your boss and your supervisors. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add? Yeah. Did, did you find this um, somehow helpful? Or? Yes, it is. It is? It is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, um, like I said, you will, you're, you're going to get a copy of everything um, that we just went over. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and schedule our next session um, for next week. This Monday is Tuesday. 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 Yes. Okay, I'm going to tell the scheduler to um, go ahead and set it up for Tuesday. Well, thank you very much. See you next week.